Hey Tyler, um, doing something a little bit different today. I'm using my QuickTime Player camera with all my built-in stuff, hoping to bypass the the video camera and SD card and uploading and all that. So maybe this will go straight to my hard drive. I can send it to you a lot easier on YouTube. Looks a little grainy, but I think maybe that's just. I think it'll be all right once it comes to your end. Anyway, we can get the information across. Okay, so what I'm going to plan on doing with this video is it's going to be fairly short, but it's going to have a lot of information that you're going to be able to to use in the future. So, if I remember correctly, last week we touched on the F chord. And it bars the first and second string with your first finger. And then with your second finger, you're on the third string, second fret. Okay. And with your third finger, you're on the fourth string, third fret. And you only strum four strings. So from the fourth string down. Well, we're going to have to do better than that. And there's a good F chord. Okay. And it is tough. This is your toughest one so far. A good way to practice it is to come from your C to the F. And when you do, just kind of lay lay that first finger down. Just kind of. And I usually tuck my elbow in tight to get that angle. So you can do that about 20 times. You could pause the video right now and just come from C to F. Okay. <clears throat> now another approach, we may come come to this from uh, uh oh, telling me I've got a low battery. We we'll have to plug in somewhere. Hold on a second. Should be okay now. Okay, and we're going to come at this F, F chord from two or three different angles. Um, so that's that, and you can you can kind of botch that bar and just get the second, you know, the uh, first fret, second, and third on the second, third, and fourth strings and just kind of touch that first string to deaden it because if you don't deaden it and it's open you've got an F major 7 which is a beautiful chord but usually not what you're going for that's what you're going for okay so uh, what a way to get to that bar is to practice just the bar just those two notes and I can't remember if we've done Smoke on the Water, but if we have or if we haven't, if, if I have taught it to you, I probably taught it to you on one string going 0, 3, 5, 0, 3, 6, 5, 0, 3, 5, 3, 0. Now you can, you can pause the video and practice that all you want, but what we want to get to is doing that on the middle two strings, the third and fourth string, okay? So you're strumming two strings, the third and fourth, and this still, zero, three, five. And you're using one finger to bar both of those strings. That's helping you practice for this bar on this F chord. So zero, three, tap your foot or nod your head whatever it takes to keep you in that groove okay all right 
So that's helping you learn that bar. Another cool little riff that I'm sure we probably haven't done is the main riff from um, uh, uh, Bad to the Bone. So same strings, actually the same frets, but it's 0, 5, 0, 3, 0, but way faster. Or, yeah, there you go. And if you can kind of slide into that 5, even better. But again, we're just teaching that finger to bar two, string, two strings at one time. Okay, and you can toy with this up on the first fret, all you or first and second string, all you want. You know, just I've always just anytime I'm trying to learn something new, just make stuff up with that technique. So, there's that. Now, we had talked a little bit about um, heart, crazy on you. So, let me give you the pieces to that this week, and that'll be your fun, fun riff that you do. But go to your A minor, and that is first string, or I'm sorry, second string, first fret, first finger, second finger on the second fret of the fourth string. Third finger on the second fret of the third string, fifth string open, no sixth string. And that's your A minor. And we're coming from that to the F. And you can leave your first finger, this one, as kind of an anchor or a pivot, if you will. Because what we're going to do is. So we're just going to catch a few of those strings open. And you can hear I'm hitting that F major 7 actually. So let me let's do that again and we're doing the actual F chord. Okay, so that you can do that all day long. Get plenty of repetition on that A minor to F. And I trust you've probably already been doing that this week. So let's add the rest of the riff in. So um, come from your G note, not a G chord, but a G note right here on the third fret, sixth string. And that's below A. <clears throat> and that's my A string, fifth string open. Okay, now I'm just going to come from the second fret of the fourth string and it will help you to use your second finger. In this open position you want each finger to be responsible for a fret for the most part. Of course you can't always stick to that but if you can, second finger, second fret, first finger, first fret, third finger, third fret, fourth finger, fourth and so on. So we're on the second fret, fourth string, open. Now I'm walking down from third fret, fifth string, second fret, fifth string, open fifth string, and then I just fall into that F. So. What's actually happening there is uh, Nancy's probably doing that, but there's also a lead guitar going uh, down to that F down low. You can hear that. And the bass is certainly going down there. Right. But for acoustic guitar, that we're just playing, <clears throat> trying to cram all the parts into one guitar. G, F, 
G and then back to the A minor. Okay, so that is actually a lot. That's it's just you know it's not going to be a 30 minute video because there's way more than 30 minutes worth of practice and information on this. But one thing you do need to not forget is to go over all your chords every day. Uh, anything you do is training your hands. So go over all the chords that you know every day. Pair them up. Do two and three different chords in a, in a bunch together. Make your own chord progressions. Um, and your four finger exercise. I've not been doing a good job of going through that at the beginning of each lesson. But make sure that you down, up, down, up. I'm talking about my right hand. Down, up, down, up. And you can do that if, if you're that good at it. You can do that on every dotted fret. You know, you can do that anywhere on the guitar because as you get better and more into lead playing, you're going to need to know these frets too. So, so do that all over the guitar. And uh, the other was your pentatonic scale. And just a reminder of that, we'll start that on A. Okay, so fifth fret, fifth fret, eighth. Am I even recording right now? Oh, yes, I am. Am I? Yeah, okay. Sorry about that. Okay, pentatonic scale. Um, five, eight, and that's going to be your pinky because remember every finger is responsible for a fret. Five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, five, eight, five, eight, and backwards. Eight, five, eight, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, five, eight, five. And you really, really want that to become second nature to you anywhere on the guitar. So that should be enough to keep you very busy this week. So you got your heart crazy on you riff. You have all the different ways to practice your F chord. A couple of those old classic rock riffs, training that first finger to bar two strings at once. And your pentatonic scale, four finger scale. And uh, so there you go. Hope you're enjoying your weekend. And I will see you next Saturday. Thanks.